Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video tutorial today. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how can you automate your Salesforce authentication in your Postman. So before getting started with this tutorial, I would like to mention that if you haven't watched these two videos, I have created these two videos here, how to use connected app in Salesforce, how to, you know, set up your Postman. So all these things I have mentioned there. And again, the second video I've created is a custom inbound REST API using some Apex classes. So uh, this is not really that important. But again, if you want to test your APIs, you can definitely use it or you can use some out of the box APIs, which I have already mentioned here in this Postman. So what is the issue that we usually face when using this uh, postman so the main issue is that we have to always authenticate for example we use this access token for authentication so i have already explained all of these things in the previous video so i'm not going to explain in this video okay so watch that video before watching this one i'm going to put the links in the description or in the comment section so we have this access token here now every single time i hit my authorization request here okay I get this access token now I have to copy this access token and let's say I am gonna hit this custom API which I have created I have to put this here into authorization now here we have a bearer token type and I have to basically paste it here and then if I hit send button then this API will work right now this is basically giving me some response a positive scenario okay it has a status 200 as well if I show here 200 okay so it's working completely fine but now every single time this authorization token every single time i have to hit the api i have to rephrase this authorization token and which is going to take a lot of time so how do we do that okay so there is one option here uh, that uh, there is one feature we can build actually through which we can you know automate this bearer token so okay so what we are going to do is we are going to create a lot of uh, or collection so if you are not using collections definitely create collections for this i'll recommend using collections mostly or else you can go ahead with the normal approach as well without collections okay so what we have to do is we have our api here okay i'm gonna select this type as inherit auth from parent okay now once you do this it is always going to take this authorization from your um, collection okay and in collection we have uh, we are selected this uh, type bearer token now what postman offers you postman offers you something called environment now in environment basically you can store all the uh, variables that you can uh, you can use later on okay so what we are going to do is we are going to create a new environment here or i already have created this but let's create a new environment let's uh, make this environment as a global so we actually have a global constant classes in apex classes again guys uh, i will be creating some new videos um, and I'm gonna share some best practices as well. So I've created this environment called global constants and here I'm gonna create something called token. Okay, now this token data type will be default here. Okay, now I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna click persist all. Okay, so once you persist all again, click this save button. Okay, now I'm gonna go here collections. Now you can see we have option here to select environment. I'm gonna select this global constants okay now uh, you don't have to do anything you just have to select this global constants here once i go inside this auth request okay we have a body so here we pass all these username password grant type client id client secret all these things i have already explained in previous videos okay so now what we do is we write a simple code okay to capture this access token and store this inside let me just uh, go here okay let me go into our global constants environment so what my purpose is this is my token it is a variable okay now i want to store value inside this token this value i always want to store from this access token so how to do that so postman offers you to write some code as well so there is something called tests okay there is prerequisite prerequisite script and then is a test so test will always execute once your api response is received okay so here i have written a very simple code again i'm going to paste this code in the description or in the comment section if you want so this code what it is doing it is taking uh, basically the response body and from this response body we are taking this access token this is the exact variable access token we have here okay this access token and it is setting the value of this access token with the to with the token variable that we have created in our uh, in our environment so this is our environment 
here we have token and the set environment variable is again a postman method that is going to set this value with respect to this variable in the uh, global constant so once i click this send button okay if i send this i'm going to get the value of the access token and if you see here we have current value this is automatically populated previously this value was not present here now when i hit any custom api i have again uh, selected this inherit auth from parent and now when i go inside this tutorial collection i'm going to go inside this authorization and what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, use this token okay this is the token that i'm going to select okay now once i uh, press uh, save okay, you have to always save this by the way now if i go inside this custom setting here i can hit this custom api basically and you will see my api is working completely fine so this is how you automate okay so i'll recap everything again what we are going to do is we're going to create this uh, global constants or any environment uh, name that you want to give you create a variable here okay you make sure you persist all uh, this is selected okay and uh, you save this again now you go to collections you go here inside your uh, collection inside your auth you copy paste the exact same um, code okay and you actually can change your variable name if you want and uh, that's it guys you always make sure you, again third step will be you have to make sure you are using the exact uh, variable that you have declared in your environment and uh, pretty much that's it guys you always have to select this uh, for every single request you have to select this inherit auth from parent and uh, pretty much that said you can just hit the same button so advantage of using is that uh, advantage about this feature is that you can if you have multiple requests you don't have to do this manually so every single time your request token is failed you can actually hit the send button and you can get a you can get a new access token okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'm really sorry guys i couldn't post uh, a uh, few videos since it's been like almost uh, two months now since i posted last video i had some things to take care of my personal life so i'm gonna try to post every week now I'm, i have some plans so i'm gonna uh, create a lot of amazing content uh, especially for freshers or some experienced people as well so i'm gonna create some designs some solutions uh, interesting features that you can actually use uh, and we're gonna keep continuing our api series first then i'm gonna move to trigger and some best practices as well so i hope you guys uh, like this video learned something if you learned some uh, something new from this video please hit that like button and subscribe button appreciate that and uh, i'll see you in the next video thank you